Arizona's Family News at 10 starts now. Everybody down. Everybody down. We start with breaking news now at 10. Scary moments at a high school football game. Shots were heard outside Carl Hayden High School. You can see students and staff hiding underneath benches and bleachers. This is near 35th Avenue in Fillmore. This happened about an hour ago. As of right now, no injuries have been reported and everyone was moved inside. On the phone live with us right now is Brittany Bauer. Uh, she was at the game. She's a freelance journalist who covers high school sports. Brittany, we're watching this video. It looks terrifying out there. Describe where you are and how you and others are doing right now. So I actually just got released from the auditorium. They're letting people go in little bouts. Um, right now in the parking lot, there are police everywhere. Police just have a whole perimeter set up around the school, about every 100 feet. There's a cop car with lights on. Um, but, yeah, at the game, so I was standing on the visitor sideline, which is further away from 35th Avenue and closer in towards the neighborhood, and the shots rang out on that side. Some of the dads that were standing up at the top of the bleachers saw it, and right when we heard the first two go off, um, it was kind of simultaneously, like the dad said, get down. Uh, Douglas, head coach, recognized it, said get down. And um, everyone kind of just dove for cover and then um, took a minute for the announcer to realize what was going on, and then he told everyone, get down. We all had to stay on the ground for like two minutes, and then – he gave us instructions to everyone get up and go as quickly as you can into the auditorium and we sheltered in place for probably about an hour here, maybe a little bit longer. Was this in the middle of game play? This is a high school football game, I imagine. Yes, there was about five minutes and 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter and uh, it was really unexpected. Like I was saying, they were on the field and then it just, and it was a lot of shots too. It was the first two initial runs and then it just kept going and going and, um, uh, Took a while, like I said. I think they had another report of another drive-by not very far from here, so that's why they were sending everybody out, and they wanted everyone to get to their car and go home immediately. But, yeah, it's been a wild night over here. Yeah, you, so you mentioned there were two shots that went off right away, and then the shots continued for quite a time. It's, mm -hmm. I'm sure it's hard to estimate, but do you have any idea how long the shooting occurred or how many shots were fired? Gosh, there was at least another five that came after the first two. Um, and then there were another two that came later that I believe if you turn the volume up in the video, you could hear go off. Um, and those are the final two that we heard before they let everyone get up. But, you know, we had to stay on the ground for like another two minutes, just kind of hanging out, waiting to see if it was okay to move or what we could do. And that was sort of my first experience with something like that. And I'm 29, so I can't imagine how it was for the kids to have to go through that, you know? No doubt about it. Frightening for everyone involved here. Scary just looking at this video here. We have no reports of injuries at this time. Is that what you are hearing there at, at Carl Hayden right now? Yes, that's what I was hearing. Um, no one at the game was hurt. Everyone was more or less just rattled, shaken. There were a lot of tears. Um, you know, it's kind of just one of those things you don't anticipate you're going to go to a football game and have something like that happen where you're going to have to ducks for cover and all, all of a sudden you don't really know if you're going to be okay um and i only can imagine with the, the climate of the world that it had to be incredibly terrifying for them but yeah no everyone was okay just the tears it seemed like and maybe a little emotional scarring but i think everyone will recover from this yeah and you said that you're being released in groups in waves right now yes and Brittany, gunshots are gunshots, and obviously you can't always tell which direction they're going, but did it, from what you could tell, from what you could hear, did it seem like the, these people were shooting at the people at the game or in the stands? No, it didn't really sound like they were shooting at people in the stands. It sounded more or less like some punk kids out just shooting guns, um, you know, out causing a ruckus on a Friday night, but... Um, Whatever it was, whoever it was, uh, whether they intended to or not, it had some pretty severe consequences on yeah. a lot of people's nights. So, Are you seeing anything from police? Uh, any talk about a suspect? Uh, I've not heard any talk about a suspect yet. Um, this is just from what I was hearing, so, I mean, it's all hearsay. The parents in the stand said that they had saw a smaller white car that was the one that was shooting uh, when the shots initially initially had rung out because they were like I said they were standing at the top of the bleachers but um, again that's all hearsay so I can't really confirm anything but 
Yeah. Oh, Brittany, you're such a, a, a valuable witness to us and to our viewers for providing this perspective. I mean, when you were inside there with that group, uh, what were people talking about when they were sheltering in place? Well, at first it was just uh, trying to make enough space to get everybody in quick enough because everyone's trying to file into the auditorium as quick as they can. And uh, then once we got in there, I don't think it really occurred to everyone. There's huge windows. Um, we had to move away from the windows. And I think that was when it kind of really set in, like, this is real. Uh, we really have to stay away from the windows now, even though we're still sheltered. Um, and then it, everyone got into the room and the doors closed, and that's kind of when I think everyone broke down and realized what was happening because the players were around their parents. Um, everyone was just happy to be united. Um, oh, there were a lot of little kids that were really scared with what was going on as well because you could tell they were not sure what was happening. Um, it was kind of just a scary situation. And um, eventually they gave us the all clear that they were going to start letting people go out, but it wasn't for almost an hour, so they had to do a nice check around the perimeter and make sure everyone was good. But I'm very thankful for being police and everything they did tonight to make sure that everyone was safe in this game. Well, you think about a high school football game, you've got mom, dad, grandpa, the little ones as well. Uh, Brittany Bauer, thank you for your excellent reporting tonight. I'm so glad that you are safe, and thank you for the video that you were able to get us as well. Uh, again, this is Carl Hayden. There are reports of a shooting there during this football game. We have no reports of any injuries. We are working to talk to police and find out more information. When we get that information, we, of course, will get it to you. Brittany, thank you for that.